hello friends welcome back to my channel it's a brand new week and a brand new month and the last month of the year so this is an old shirt of mine that i haven't worn in ages and today i'll be transforming it into a cute crop top i don't know i'm obsessed with copies these days probably it's just a face or my workout is beginning to show i think that is it and also i have two other transforming to do on some of my old tops that i want to fix from something boring to something cute and crap so stay tuned <laughs> So I'll go ahead and take off the pocket on this shirt because I won't be needing them. If your shirt doesn't have a um, pocket on it, this step doesn't apply to you. Just keep. Uh, okay, so sorry guys, please. I am yet to get my seam ripper. I know I always say you need a seam ripper for this job, but I am yet to get my. So I'll be using my razor for this. The hearts and neon lights, the playing with my mind. Gotta get out of here tonight. Oh, I wanna run off I am and I'm so Once that is done, I will be placing my ruler on this shirt now to chalk where I'll be cutting out to make a one shoulder copy. Um, as you can see, I also left my hook and loop closure on one side of the pocket because I feel like it will look nice on my new copy. So it's a choice thing. You can choose to leave it on, you can choose to take it off, take all out. It's up to you. Overthinking, oh, 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 oh The more I swim, the more I'm singing Take me to a world of silver No more heartbreak, tears, painkillers Take me somewhere unfamiliar Bring me back to where we started After cutting off my one shoulder in a slant I will be taking my measuring tape now To measure out the length of the top How long I want it to be I'll be making it 11 inches now because I'll be adding to the measurement with a pleat. So for now, it's going to be 11 inches. As you can see, you guys, this is a striped shirt. So I don't need to keep chucking down my measurement and then using my ruler to rule and cut. Now I don't need to do all that. It has stripes already. It has line. I'm just going to be using that as my guideline. So once I'm done cutting the length of my top up, off the next thing for me to do now is to cut the sleeves i want a short sleeve so i'll be cutting that off too if you want a long sleeve you can go ahead and leave yours long i want my shirt so i'm going to make it my shirt once i'm done cutting that off the next thing for me to do now is to bring um cut out the fabric i'll be using to pleat on the length of my new crop top so from the fabric i have left i'll be placing my tape and then checking out five inches because that's what i'll be using to pleat on my top so i'll be checking out five inches and cutting that off so because i want a whole lot of fabric to pleat with i'll be cutting another one and then i'll be taking the both of them to my machine to join and then not forgetting to hem the bottom i hate all this overthinking oh 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 um, After joining and hemming the bottom of this and then don't forget to close all sides this is how I'm going to be attaching this to my top I'm going to be pleating while sewing but before I do that um, I will, I'll be using my pins to pin this down to show you guys how I'm going to be pleating it and then how it looks I hate all this overthinking oh, 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 oh. If you're watching me for the first time please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and if you're not watching me for the first time and you've not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for why not go ahead and click on the subscribe button so you can get notification whenever a new video is being uploaded and also you guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up like this video like my video like this video like this video also you can comment on the comment section below or you can email me i'll be leaving my email in the description box below
after pleating you guys this is the result you get after you finish pleating it this is the result you get my cutie cutie copy is so so ready the only thing left for me to do now is to hem all sides that are open so i'm, I'm going to be hemming where i have my one shoulder and then on the sleeve too i'll be hemming that in <laughs> Well, this is the next transformation we're going to be doing. We're going to be achieving this beautiful crappy off shoulder. <laughs> so let's jump right into the video. So um, I'll go ahead and then cut off the sleeves of this top because um, I'll be working on it i need the sleeves i'll be bringing them back because um, i'm going to be attaching them obviously to the top so i'm going to be cutting them off right now so once i'm done doing that the next thing for me to do is to take the length of how long i want my top to be this is going to be quick and easy you guys <laughs> so after um opening this up yeah i just open it up so because i want to stitch it myself so i'll be taking this to my machine now to close this I'll be closing the sides by half an inch. I'll be joining them back by half an inch. And then before I do that too, I'll be hemming the up of the top. So I'm going to be hemming it in. So I'll have like a clean um, edge or clean edges. I'm not going to be touching the bottom because the bottom is already weaved. So. Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home. Oh, oh, oh. I hate all this overthinking. Oh. I am done closing in the sides of the top and then hemming in the up of the top too. The next thing for me to work on is the sleeves. For the sleeves, I don't want the curvy part, so I'm going to be tracing it out because I want it to look like a box. I want it in a box shape. So I'll be cutting out the curvy part and then taking it to my machine to hem the rough edges in because now I need to attach it to my top. So I'll be hemming it in and then attaching it to my top. Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home. the last part of the diy and also very simple and quick so stick with me so this is an old top i stopped wearing for a very long time and now i'll be transforming it into something i know i'll be obsessed with for a while go ahead and cut out a little part of this top like four inches long and then placing it on the top again, I will be tracing this out. Um, as you can see, I didn't totally cut this off because I need that part to still be attached to my top. that i will be opening this up and attaching the first fabric i traced out to this because i want to make a longer band that can go around my waist i 
empty hearts and neon lights The playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight the second part of the band off um not totally off i'll be attaching the first one i traced out to the f uh, second one and then i'll be hemming all sides i'll be hemming all sides i'll be hemming them in and that is it you guys the top is ready this is a very quick fix you guys if you have an old top that is boring and you want to change into something fun this is it you guys for watching this video thank you i really appreciate for the newbies thank you for sticking with me to the end don't forget to click on the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel you guys and also don't forget to help me share this video on all social media platforms thank you very much i'll be seeing you on my next video bye